needed to know is I need to place a mental hold on my brother, Luke Woodick. He's been sending strange text messages. He's been calling himself Eminem. He's been calling from weird numbers. Um, he has also been, he's just, he's deranged. He's making threatening statements over and over to my friend William. He's a danger to self and others. And he's stating that he has mental illness. He's making these uh, t in text messages, also in public YouTube messages. And they and he's trying to use alias names. He's He's gone crazy. And I need a 72-hour hold on him. Okay, and what is your name? My name is Dr. Heidi Woodick. And I have all of these text messages, and I have the witness. Um, there was even phone communication where Luke Woodick has threatened William Hayes, trying to call him a child molester when he's not even, he's not a child molester. He's never been reported or um, registered or nothing. And okay, hold are, on just one moment. I'll transfer you over to the person that um, would be able to work with you on that. Hold on just a moment, okay? Luke's been making threats to kill people. This is a county attorney office as they uh, aided and abetted in kidnapping Olivia and taking me taking me illegally on fabricated mental holds so I'm calling as Luke has made very deranged um, mental illness comments about himself to hurt people hurt me hurt William Hayes stating he uh, needs medication so I called the county attorney for a mental hold also to prove that they are uh, discriminating and doing willful intentional acts against me and not doing the same equal protection of everyone in Pueblo, Colorado. Just listen when they get back on. They refuse to intervene into uh, holding Luke, but yet they uh, went after me several times. Greg started hard Hi, this is Bernie. Hi, Bernie. Good morning. My name is Dr. Heidi Woodick. And I'm needing help with uh, getting a 72-hour hold on my brother. He's been texting him just in the last, you know, even yesterday. And he's trying to say he's Eminem, the famous rapper. He's making threats by using Oprah's name. He's texting them. He's also done verbal communications in threatening my friends, William Hayes, saying he's going to kill him, calling him a child molester, when he's not even a child molester. He's... He's lost his mind, and he's even stating in text that he has mental illness and he needs medications, and um, I, I don't know what to do. I, I mean, I see MHIP is a horrible place. It doesn't help anybody, but I need to get him somewhere, maybe Parkview or somewhere to um, hold. Do I need to call the police? Okay. And then just do a... Oh. Just and ask them if they can do it, uh, you know, like a, a hold. Okay. All right, because I have enough proof with my phone, and, you know, he's he's deranged. He's very deranged. He's very dangerous. Um, I even have other cousins who have spoke out about sexual abuse that has happened to them. I mean, and that's in the past, but he's... It's very apparent that he's not level-headed, and he's making false reports. He's even calling attorneys and encrypting his messages and making false reports to police officers, um, to attorneys, to the courts, to my doctors. So I will see if we can get a hold. There's no way you can file a hold. I know that you've done that before. Yeah, we can. We can, but... Um so how come you can't do that in this situation? It's, it's imminent, and I don't know why I would you intervene. I definitely, definitely call the police and ask them to do, like, a, uh, a good, good will check. Okay. So how come you intervene in other cases and not this situation? Because we really haven't seen him before. Okay, well, you didn't see me either in 2013, and yet you were aiding and abetting Joe Woodick in a legalized kidnapping act of my daughter, 
And now that we really have a situation where Luke has threatened my life, he's threatened my friends' lives, he's trying to pay them off, um, he's he's lost his mind, and now you won't intervene in that? But you no. intervene in taking my daughter from me. Okay. No. All right, so what do we need to do to get you to intervene into this into this matter? Hmm. Why don't you give me your name and phone number, and maybe we can have one of the attorneys give you a call. Okay, that would be great. Otherwise, it's just another act of discrimination that you would take that against me and not someone else who really needs it. And I have the proof. I'd be happy to drive down there today and... and work with you to get him admitted. My number is...